ATIS Insight is an easy-to-use database of expertly written, current scientific information on drug treatments being developed worldwide. We will follow Sue, a PhD student in a neurology lab, on her journey as she uses ATIS Insight to help her with her goals of advancing research, getting published, and winning funding. Sue has decided to focus her PhD thesis on neuropathic pain. She is very interested in nerve regeneration using stem cells and wishes to find out more about the research and development surrounding this potential treatment option. Sue starts her research by performing a search for the indication neuropathic pain. The search results reveal the number of agents in development. Using the filters in the left-hand column, Sue can quickly drill down to see how many agents are in development for different criteria. For example, by phase. Sue can see that there are very few agents close to launch for this indication, but many in earlier clinical and preclinical development. There are also a large number of programs that have been discontinued or with no recent development reported. Because of her interests in nerve regeneration and stem cell technologies, Sue wants to drill down further to see how many agents are in development for each drug class. She identifies that there is only a small number of stem cell therapies in development. At a glance, she can see that they are in the early phases of development, highlighting that there may be an opportunity to further explore this new technology. Sue is able to drill down into each drug profile and find out more about the specific research that has been carried out, including the kinds of models used. Alongside scientific information, Sue is able to find a media release containing useful commercial information that otherwise may have been difficult to find. This information highlights that sponsorship of Sue's research may be an attractive investment opportunity for a Japanese company as the current development landscape means that with fast-track approval, they could overtake many of the products still in early-stage development. Sue wonders if there may be an opportunity to repurpose an alternative stem cell therapy not currently being investigated in neuropathic pain. This would allow her to build upon existing research rather than starting from scratch. She performs a new search to find all stem cell therapies in development for the broader indication of pain. Using the data table view, it is easy to see, at a glance, the number of drugs in development by phase and indication. Within the profiles, Sue finds up-to-date information that has been consolidated and summarized from multiple sources, saving time that she otherwise would have spent searching and reading these sources herself. It is also possible to view organization details and company agreements. This can help Sue to determine whether a research organization was involved in the origination, which could indicate a willingness of the developer to work with academia for its drug development. Having seen that there is an opportunity to pursue stem cell therapies as a treatment for neuropathic pain, Sue moves on to building a list of the organizations most actively involved in this area, highlighting the key players that she could approach for collaboration or sponsorship of her thesis project. From here, Sue can use the information and reference links within the drug and trial profiles to learn more about the specific work each organization is conducting and how well it aligns with her research. Plus, she can export the results for further analysis. Next, Sue works on a list of potential collaborators, using the trials data in ATIS Insight to identify existing trials using stem cell therapies, in particular those being conducted in Japan. Using the details within the trial profiles, she can learn more about the research paths followed by these potential collaborators, exploring factors such as patient focus, trial design, and relevant publications. Sue is now armed with a list of drug companies that she will contact to sponsor her project. She will also submit a grant application to the relevant local funding bodies. In her applications, she can use information extracted from her searches in ATIS Insight to illustrate the gap in therapy, 
and to highlight the potential of stem cell therapies as a treatment, showing the positive impact of the work she plans to do. Sue can include an overview of the major companies actively investigating this pain indication, as well as key scientific personnel identified from relevant trial centers with whom she plans to seek a potential collaboration. She can include her discovery about the advantages of potential alignment with the Japanese market. Collectively, this illustrates and justifies why research in stem cell therapies for neuropathic pain is a promising but underserved area that warrants funding investment. Throughout the project, Sue intends to publish her findings. To do so, she must keep up to date with research in these fields to ensure she is adding new and interesting information to the literature. Sue can set up alerts in ATIS Insight, which will notify her of any new information. With the aid of ATIS Insight, Sue can work more strategically, ensuring that her research is following the most innovative and successful pathway. Begin browsing and searching sample results on ATIS Insight today, or contact us to request a trial.